others crushed by falling masonry. When their new consolidated grade and high school in the center of the rich East Texas oil field was shattered by a terrific gas explosion. Had the blast occurred 10 minutes later, school would have been dismissed and the death toll small perhaps. But it struck when only the lower grades and a few others had left, catching almost the entire student body in an inferno of flying debris and falling walls. There was no warning. Before the eyes of persons in the vicinity, including scores of parents assembled for a meeting in a nearby building, the schoolhouse, one of the finest rural structures in the country, suddenly burst asunder and collapsed. In the remaining hours of daylight and through the long, terrible night, the scenes of the disaster were indescribable, harrowing. A wild confusion of feverish rescue work by floodlights with their gruesome, ghostly shadows and everywhere sobbing, hysterical parents, hoping against hope and bravely trying to identify mangled little bodies through their tears. Hour by hour, the death toll rises. The injured, too, as rescue workers from the nearby oil fields uncover the pitiful remains of their children or break occasionally into some living tomb. There's scarcely a home in the entire school district untouched by the disaster. A disaster caused, it is believed, by gas pockets which had collected in the school's sub-basement. In the long list of American catastrophes, this is one of the worst. The entire nation bows in grief.